Hello, I'm Jeffrey Fox, and I'm teaching this free uh, MOOC in uh, the area of data science entitled Big Data Applications and Analytics. And it's built around what I call the big data ecosystem described in one sentence. This is also called the rallying cry of this course, that we use clouds, we run data analytics, we do this collaboratively, we process big data, and we solve problems in lots of application areas which are typically denoted either X followed by informatics, where X runs over the application area, or E followed by the application area. If you look around the world on the web and all sorts of other sources, you can find the values of X that, that uh, are listed so far. And other fields like physics, I, I, the term physics and informatics is not often used, but it's implicitly defined. Because as we'll see actually in this course, physics uses informatics a lot. And it certainly has huge, huge data. It's one of the largest sources of big data in the research area. Uh, other appli some applications come from industry, some from the consumer world, and some from research. The educational area is called data science. And here's a nifty New York Times article. There are many others, including some nice books, especially recent ones. It's based on a class I gave uh, last spring um, in the so-called informatics program at Indiana University. And here is the URL for this MOOC you're looking at. Big datacourse.appspot.com. And here you have a collage of the various um, fields, X informatics, and these are the application areas that uh, big data is going to be processed in. And it's running over those areas I just recited on the previous slide. And this is just a pictorial representation of them. Um, the actual term X informatics, where X is a general uh, um, symbol is actually used in a few places. Okay, so if you go to the website, the first thing you would do is to enroll. I've already enrolled, so I don't see that button at the top here. Uh, I've logged in and enrolled, and I've used my uh, Google account to do that. And um, if you look at this um, web page, you can sort of uh, See a nice banner at the top telling me that, uh, well, it thinks I haven't done very much work on this course. It's like most uh, uh, classes, quite often true, computers are wrong, of course, but never mind. Um, and then you will see it's divided into sections. Section one through section 12. This uh, course has a four level hierarchy. Here we have it again in the syllabus. Uh, Description section 12. Each section has units, that's the things on this um, line here, 29 units. A unit, if you like, is, is sort of equivalent to a lecture. Um, it can be of varying size, some units are small, others are, 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 are longish, but typically never much longer than an hour. And then each unit, as we, each, uh, unit as we see is divided into lessons. And lessons are typically 10 minutes long. So this has a four level hierarchy, course, section, unit, lesson, which we think is a pretty general um, structure. And now we have to use Google Course Builder to build what we call CGL MOOC technology, which um, supports this type of hierarchy. As you see from the syllabus, you, you will find not only the material described along here, but also various things like assessments. The material is sort of um, split into uh, probably three types, or maybe four. If we count introduction, there are four types. There are some, um, <coughs> another introductory discussion of data science. There are application areas, which are the X's, physics, e-commerce, web search, health, sensor, radar. Interspersed between these applications, the value of X, you have the technologies. These technologies fall into two. There are the actual analytics, these are the algorithms. And um, they're like clustering and recommender engines and things like that. Uh, those are described in these um, technology sections. We also describe uh, how to use, in this version of the, of the MOOC, to use Python. And this particular MOOC only uses Python. 
you can, if you wish, skip the parts that actually require you to use Python. Otherwise, there are some uh, uh, parts of the course where you can benefit by writing some, running some Python or write, and writing a very little amount of Python. So you can see here how the what, what makes up the course. So in order to see what's going on in this course, we could uh, press this button, which will give us the PDF, which is the whole syllabus. Alternatively, I told you we had uh, sections, units, and lessons. And uh, every one of those things has a description of what, what's actually uh, uh, it's, it does. So if we look here, let's go to um, physics case study. If we um, click this plus here, we will get down the physics section, which has got a pretty picture. And to the uh, right of the pretty picture, it has a summary of the physics section. Um, after the physics section, we have the um, different units, um, which the physics section has. The physics section has four units. Remember, the unit is roughly a lecture. and you will actually see here, um, if you go here and you press uh, this uh, unit, you get a unit overview here, which is the a summary of the unit. Then you can get the lesson with a lesson overview and so on. So the lessons, remember, are the smallest unit, and a unit consists of a set of consecutive lessons. So it has this particular unit has. Uh, uh, three lessons. It's actually a rather short unit. If we go here for unit eight, it will probably have um, hopefully more units. I suspect I'm. Actually, this one's also a short unit, 25 minutes. If we go to a longer unit here, it must have more. You see, this one has uh, eight lessons. And this starts off with the unit overview, and then it's followed by the section, sorry, the lesson overviews. So you can really find out in this class whatever what's going on. If I actually click <coughs> one of these units like this, I will go off to the Google uh, App Engine. It will spawn me the uh, video interface. Here we are. So this is the basic interface to. Um, Unit seven, lesson one, and you can see actually remember this unit has three lessons and we we look at the bottom here, we have here, we'll come to this, go to the discussion group. We can actually watch it in a native YouTube fashion. Um, we can get the slides of the unit, we can get the overview of the unit, and then we can get the lesson overview. So that's so of course, the smallest unit. And then we can press here to get the next lesson, or we can press up here to get the next lesson. It's sort of interesting how many times my eyes are closed on these pictures, but um, I, that's, that's, a, that's, not, uh, that's not a big data issue. So actually, here is the Higgs boson on this particular unit. It's focused on trying to understand the Higgs boson. Okay, so that's the basic structure of the course. Uh, one thing uh, you will be asked to do is to join the discussion on the Google Community Groups. It has a separate uh, forum for each, um, for each section. And so we can go to the section one. Doesn't have very it doesn't have a significant number of entries in it at the moment. So every section is represented here, and you can just uh, go through them uh, as you like. And hopefully, in, as this MOOC gets started, you will find significant discussion here. The other way uh, we will have discussion is uh, advertised at the top here. We will use Google Hangout for in-person discussions. And of course, that Hangout has the little problem that you all have to be there at the same time, which means it's not so good if you're in very different time zones. But um, it's been found effective to have Hangouts. And we will move the Hangouts uh, into, across the time of day so we don't automatically favor those in particular time zones.
So that's the actual physical structure of this MOOC. I urge you to explore it. You, once you log in and enroll, uh, you can explore it to your heart's content. And logging in and enrolling has no um, has no um, hidden uh, requirements or commitments. You can just do that and never look at anything. Um, another thing we'd like you to do, which is uh, shown at the uh, but I should also point out that if you, uh, there are at the bottom here some tabs, and those tabs have all the um, links to uh, back uh, resources you want. Here are the resources for this particular um, There are five different links here, which gives you further information for this particular uh, unit. Uh, but the other thing we wanted to point out here is the link to tell us what you think. If you click this link, you can enter all your, your favorite comments and help us to improve what we're doing. Over here, there are links to other MOOCs. I should uh, finish by telling you about the other courses that will be available in, in this series. So this is a free MOOC. Kati uh, Burner has a free MOOC on information visualization. There's a link down here for that. Um, but there's also a set of uh, what you might call regular courses, but they're taught using MOOC technology. So these consist of actually three, three courses associated with this particular MOOC. There is an undergraduate class offered next semester, uh, residential uh, uh, Indiana Bloomington students in, in informatics, called I-400 um, course. There is a residential course to in informatics uh, graduate students, I-590. Uh, both of those will have separate interfaces and somewhat different material. Those, the I-590 course at least will certainly have Java as an alternative to Python. And it will also allow you to run the applications on a back-end server as well as on your, on your uh, client machine. And the final co course might be the most interesting. It is for remote participants. It's for part of the data science initiative, but uh, at Indiana University and corresponds to what we expect to be a certificate in data science corresponding to four courses. There will be four courses offered this spring. One in the health area by David Wild, one on cloud computing by Judy Chu, one on information by uh, Cardi Burner, and then a version of this uh, course here, which is uh, on the big data applications and analytics. Note that the online um, Data, data science certificate is reasonably well priced. $4,500 will get you the four courses. That's the total tuition for four courses. And uh, we consider that reasonably competitively priced in this, in this uh, difficult world we live in. So anyway, really makes, just explore this MOOC. Give us feedback, learn what you want. Um, and uh, please communicate through the community. Uh, forums. Thank you very much. Uh, this is Jeffrey Fox, Indiana University, signing off. Thank you.